components from premium manufacturers, an overclockable Intel processor, and the Corsair 200R airflow optimized case holding it all together. The NCIXPC Black Friday 2015 Gamers Special has killer gaming performance, along with a bunch of free games and goodies for good measure. Click the video to learn more. It's been almost two months since the launch of the alleged flagship killer the OnePlus 2 and you know, first impressions don't tell the full story. So after my extensive use with this device, here's five things you're gonna love and hate about the OnePlus 2. Hate may be a strong word, but not inaccurate. So first, let's start with a positive, the build quality. I love the metal frame, outstanding clicky buttons with combination of sandstone removal, plastic back, which helps to grip the large phone. Plus it's almost self healing in a way that hides all the scratches and normal wear marks uh, perfectly well. And if you like to customize the back, that is an option for a more premium look. And over time, little scratches here and there occur on the metal frame. But for this price bracket, I'm very satisfied with the quality structure OnePlus has delivered. The second positive is the screen. Being a 1080p 5.5 inch panel, it isn't the sharpest thing around, but with excellent natural white balance, with nice brightness range and satisfactory viewing angles that made the upgrade from the Z3 totally worth it for me. Plus by default, a screen protector is pre-applied that has taken a beating in my pocket, uh, but better it than the actual display underneath. The third aspect of the OnePlus 2 you're gonna love is the price for the specs and capacity. Going for 389 for the 64 gigabyte model and 329 for the 16 gigabytes. Obviously, it makes more sense to spend a little bit more to quadruple your capacity, and that's how it should be, giving users an ample of storage to load up all your media since there is no micro SD card expansion. However, on a positive note for international users, the dual SIM slot is such a welcome feature I use it all the time for my Canadian provider and another one when I visit Europe. And hardware wise, the OnePlus 2 is a capable smartphone with great specifications, uh, you know, a snappy operation, and it complements its price very well. Plus, let's not forget about the actual characteristics of a phone. Call quality is fantastic with a loud ear speaker. The number four thing to love about this device is battery life. The 3300 mAh battery is non-removable, but if you're a heavy user with social media, email, and photos, the OnePlus 2 lasts easily a full day for me, with about 30% left in the tank for the next day. Battery consumption on standby is also very efficient, but my main complaint here is the lack of quick charging, so you'll need at least two hours until full recharge to 100%. And coming in at number five, you're gonna love all the built-in features for the OnePlus 2 that are very surprising for this price category, but are super awesome. Starting with the physical notification slider on the side that is also slightly textured and it's very simple to just snap it in any of the three positions that you wish was integrated as a standard thing on all Android smartphones. Moving on, there's a fingerprint sensor that is not always reliable, but as you realize the pressure to put on it, it's very handy and it's also super quick. For some reason, there has been a lot of discontent about the USB Type-C port, uh, but it is reversible, so it's super convenient to plug in without even thinking twice. So kudos to OnePlus for being such an early adopter, and everyone who complains about the lack of cables, it's $5. Just get it. Moving on, you will love the customization options, albeit somewhat limited inside the Oxygen OS, like choosing between light and dark mode and ability to choose your accent color for tools and menus, gesture customization like double tapping to wake, which is super awesome, I use it all the time, draw a V on the screen to turn on the flashlight or a circle for the camera, and a whole lot of functions built onto the bottom row like double tapping the home button to open the camera. 
And that has to be my favorite feature about the OnePlus 2, either using the capacitive buttons that feature very elegant backlight and with this blue line, or if you find handling more comfortable with the on-screen buttons that can be enabled in the options as well. And since all of this is built into Oxygen UI on top of clean Android Lollipop, you get a near stock Android uh, layout, zero bloatware, and that's a major positive. And so now let's shift gears a little bit and discuss what's not to love about the OnePlus 2. First, the invite system. Despite of how it makes you feel being part of this exclusive club to own one of these hard to get devices, it simply is the bottleneck between the producer, or sorry, the consumer and OnePlus. And there are currently 6 million people on the wait list and counting, and therefore it's not an easy device to acquire. And that's why we'll be giving out invite codes in the comment section below and on our Twitter page. So make sure to follow us there at Hardware Canucks to make accessibility uh, of the OnePlus 2 a bit easier for you guys. The second really upsetting factor revolves around the latest camera update. Now, initially when I received the device in September, I drooled over the camera quality with very quick focusing, uh, the ability to adjust exposure similar to the iPhone, the optical image stabilization in low light was phenomenal, the exposure was spot on all the time with just natural looking photos until a few updates ago that all changed. And all the pictures you see now have been taken before the update was applied. Now, so the issues that I'm experiencing now is shutter sound and when the actual image is captured is off sync for me sometimes, causing me to think the picture was taken because I heard the shutter sound, but then there was some delay and the picture is actually captured during motion when I was putting the phone away. The face detect is mediocre in low light and always jumps back and forth and never locks focus, causing a slight change in focus as you hit the shutter button and what you're left with is a blurry photo. And the shadows now have a green cast to them, even if the picture is taken at low ISO, and it always overexposes my pictures for some reason, which wasn't the case a few weeks ago before the update. So this is what I'm seeing with my natural eye, and this is what the phone is capturing, a bit too overexposed. Now moving away from the camera at number three, a really disappointing weak vibration motor that might as well not be here because if you cannot feel it in your pants pocket, it should not be included. And I disabled it completely to not eat any of the battery life. At number four, there's no echo cancellation when the speakerphone is used. So for example, if you are on a video chat with somebody, and if you're not wearing headphones, the person on the other line will be able to hear their own projection, which makes using the speakerphone unbearable. And at number five, the immaturity of Oxygen OS. As only after two months, I'm beginning to experience lag with the keyboard, taking a while to show. There's a full two to three second delay when I click on a contact to make a call. I find that built-in shelf feature is pretty useless that displays your most used apps and contacts but that's what my front page is for anyway. And sometimes text messages appear in a new thread, even if the contact is already added and messaging history already exists. And Hangouts notification never get through and the phone sometimes does not notify me of an incoming call through WhatsApp. So I've done a few factor resets already and they have not fixed any of the issues I just mentioned, which seems to surround Oxygen OS and hopefully OnePlus will eventually get these fixed. So guys, this is all we have to say about the five things to love and hate about the OnePlus 2. It's still an excellent phone in my opinion, but we cannot ignore the drawbacks. As I said earlier, we'll be giving out invite codes in the comment section below and on our Twitter page, so make sure to follow us there. I'm Dimitri with Harbor Canucks. We hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you in the next one.